Hey everyone, this is Clement here, and today we'll be creating this in Ophio. To get things started, I will just um, drag an image into the canvas and let the upload begin. Once it's actually uploaded, you can actually see the image in the canvas. What we could do now is to add a simple background to actually make this scene a little bit more interesting. I'll go to stocks and search for something bluish. As you can see, there are tons and tons of stock images available in Ophio and for this tutorial's purpose, I would actually use something like this. Zoom it out a little bit and scale it up to it fills the entire canvas and place the image low of the layer. By the way, you can press Ctrl and do a simple scroll on your mouse to actually zoom in and zoom out of the canvas. Next, what we could do is to match the colors of the blue. Click the adjust button. Tweak the hue and get the colors. A little bit more bluish to the layer. And there we go. You could even pump the contrast a little bit up. And brightness. Now that we have a rough composition of our scene, but let's start by adding some effects. Select graphics tab here. And I'll search for ink. As you can see, there are tons and tons of examples of different types of ink, but for this example, I'll select this. And place it back underneath the product. Let's just add a little bit more different types of ink into the canvas so that we make it a little bit more interesting. So let's try this. After adding this image, what we could do is to blend in a little bit better into the background and the previous videos. You could click the adjust button and select over this just to work. We could even do another blending mode for this. Now let's just do a preview for the video. By the way, press spacebar to actually do a preview. Now that we're done, we could actually duplicate one more just to create a little bit of more dynamic effect. Press Ctrl D or click this duplicate button to duplicate your element. Expand it a little bit and change the colors. Perhaps do something more purplish and contrast. And brightness. Now we've got like a few layers of ink happening and just press spacebar for quick preview. Once we've done the basic composition of the image, what we can do now is to add a quick transition. In the ink categories, there's actually quite a bit of different ink transitions that you use. For this example, we'll be using something more colorful like this. Once it's added, you can actually scale up a little bit so that it fills up the entire screen. And press spacebar to preview again. Nice. Right now, let's just add some text in. Click the text button here. And select Hater of your hoodies. Well, I'll be using Monster Red. Change the colors to white by clicking this button. Once it's done, maybe we could add a little bit of shadows by clicking the Effects button. Next, we could just duplicate this text by clicking this button or Ctrl D. Change the cards to black and we type the font size and text smaller and minus the bold. Work around the shadows a little bit so that it doesn't feel so harsh and then we're done. Next, we could press space bar to prove it one last time. But as you can see, the text is actually in front of the transition, so what we can do is just press put this down and down. And there we go, the text is behind the transition currently. Let's add a little bit of animation to the text, to the image, and to the background. So let's start with the text. I could start by selecting this text and click the anime button by letter. And do a slide in from the top. And for the pre order word, I will do the same in animation by letter. And slide in from the bottom. 
press spacebar to preview them. And for the image, I will just click this and animate a zoom out effect. So it feels like the product is actually being considered out by the ink. Lastly, to push this image a little bit further, this image and click the animate button and select the emphasis button and do a quick slow zoom in. Play with the speed a little and press space bar. Now you can see the background is actually moving, so that creates the illusion that this animation is not static. Once you're done, let's select the music, music categories. Lastly, we could actually push the animation a little bit further by tweaking the timeline. Let's click the timeline button here. I would like the text to actually appear a little bit later. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you guys actually see the possibilities of what you could actually create with both of you. And see you guys next time.